Well, Major League Baseball has decided that Georgia's voter fraud law is Jim Crow, so they're moving the All-Star game to Colorado. How do Colorado's voting laws compare to Georgia's? Joe Biden and Stacey Abrams think that Georgia is Jim Crow 2.0, then maybe Colorado is Jim Crow 3.0. They are very close in terms of proximity. Colorado, where voting regulations are very similar to Georgia. In many ways, Georgia laws um, are more accessible, more friendly, more convenient to voters than are Colorado's laws. Yes, Colorado also has fewer days of in-person voting than Georgia. Two days less of early voting than we do. Why move the game to some place that actually has a little bit less access in terms of days? Our election model is very straightforward. You register to vote, you're sent a mail ballot, and then you can vote that mail ballot and return it at one of hundreds of drop boxes, or you can turn it back in the mail, or you can even vote in person during early voting or even register and cast a ballot right on election day. Shocking, in fact, terrible news for all of your viewers, especially for all the social justice warriors at Major League Baseball. Colorado appears to require photo identification to vote in person. Have among the best voting laws by nonpartisan non uh, institutes that, that rate uh, the, the effectiveness, the integrity of the voting system. It's intended to disenfranchise people. It's intended so voters just throw their hands up and decide not to go to the polls. Uh, and that's when those elected officials win. They win when voters decide they just can't jump through the hoops anymore. Uh, so we just cannot allow it to happen.